milling around as the private, Puccini another one to step up, and unilateral, and Jason Gates. Unilateral up to the gate. She goes in, the private, and Ashton Aries. 1,400 meters, all set. Now dispatch from the 1,400 meter marker. Not a bad beginning, this one. The private is right there, unilateral. Puccini goes off to lead them. Then comes Trust in Gold. Don Piero's near the rail. Dot Coz is going around them on the outside of runners, and they'll follow it further back in the field there by Walter the Penniless. Master Sam is the grey on the outside of runners. Then comes Aloy. Lauren of Rochelle's racing about seven lengths off the leader, and at the back is Royal Rustler, about eight or nine lengths off them. Sharps Eagle just in front of that. Pacini's the leader, Trusting Gold second, Unilaterals third, and Don Piero at the rail fourth. They are followed by Dot Coz and the private travel together. Master Sam is the grey, further back Lauren of Rochelle. Then comes Aloy, Walter the Penniless, and Sharps Eagle. Towards the outside is Master Sam and Royal Rustler. Top of the lane, 500 to go, Pacini the leader. Trusting Gold is right there, unilateral. Don Piero between runners trying to put in a claim. Lauren of Rochelle's down the inside. Pacini still goes. Walter the Penniless is sneaking throughout the rail. The leader is still Pacini. Walter the Penniless needs the split. Comes on well on the inside. Towards the outside, Lauren of Rochelle. Lauren of Rochelle, Master Sam's running on from behind. It's close. Lauren of Rochelle won it from Walter the Penniless and the private. Number 12, Lauren of Rochelle, The Rock of Rochelle, Daryl Moore for the Hollywood Syndicate, Cabela Mozzignani, The Rock of Rochelle, fourth win, will get up in the nod to the post, and number 12 wins it by that three parts of a head or a head. So number 12 is the winner, and it pays up 9.20. Second, the toad favourite, Walter the Penniless. The private, number three, is in third. Master Sam ran a nice race back in fourth, Puccini, and then came Sharp's Eagle. We'll look at that head on. Further back is Aloy, and then came Trust in Gold. So as we look at this, and the winner sneaks through towards the outside of the track and comes forward. Well, it's three off the left-hand side in the yellow silks. At this stage, Walter the Penniless, Puccini, and now Lauren of Rochelle comes well. The Grey's Master, Sam, and here's Lauren of Rochelle, bred by Himmel and Arda Stud, and they end up winning it by that head or so. That's the running of the third race. Next up is the fourth race. Back to the studio. We've just seen the Daryl Moore stable with Lauren Obrachelle coming through after a good third to Puccini. Just when Walter the Penniless, the private, Master Sam was darting the outside, but Lauren of Rochelle gets the fourth win for the Hollywood Syndicates, the Everett, Himlin Arda Stud, and what a buy at 20,000 Rand. Was with the Clinton Binder stable, now in KZN in the care of Daryl Moore. So well done to all concerned. Number 12, Lauren of Rochelle in those bright yellow silks with the purple stars. Workmanlike victory for Lauren of Rochelle from the Daryl Moore stable. Had to go to plan B and find the gaps and come through with a rip-roaring finish. Well done to you and the team. Scintillating performance. Yeah, thanks, Sheldon. Uh, well done to Cabela. He really rode a great race. Uh, got a bit worried there. Like you said, it got a bit tight, but he kept his cool. And, uh, yeah, he rode a very nice race, so well done to him. I uh, just want to say well done and thank you to Clint Binder. Uh, he actually asked the guys to send the horse here to, to Durban. He thought a change of scenery will, will do the horse well, and he was right. He filled me in about the horse, so thank you very much to Clint. And also, big thanks to Owen and James, all the guys at Hollywood. Thanks for giving me a chance. Is he an easy horse to work with back home? He is. He's straightforward. Um, he just, when he was with Clint, Clint said to, to me that he was just losing a bit of ground at the start. So... We worked on that and it's, it's paid off. Enjoy the moment. Great. Thanks, Sheldon. Let's get Cabela into the studio here, the winning area. Now you got those bright silks for the Hollywood Syndicate. Well done. Thanks a lot um, once again to Mr. Moore. Thanks a lot to him. 
and um, to the owners, all the people, um, thanks to them too for the support and well done to them. Coming to the 300, what was going through your mind, just looking for the gaps? Yes, you know, when I got up the straight, it was actually still traveling very well. And when I found my gap, I just went for it and I just slowly built him up, even though he was a bit slow into stride, jumping away. But I warmed him up very well behind the gates and he actually got him to travel in the race and he finished well. Well done. Thank you. Now let's get the pink drive cap there. Coming to the course tonight, the pink, you had the yellow silks with the purple stars. You're sponsoring a race later on. Well done. Yeah, I mean, isn't that awesome? It's, uh, it's kind of planned out well. And uh, yeah, just well done to the, to the syndicate boys again, Owen uh, and uh, Hollywood and uh, everybody involved. Great ride by Cabello. Uh, and obviously special mention to uh, Daryl as well. I think it's a nice training feat, you know, obviously they do get a little bit They do sort of go a bit more ground as they get older But uh, obviously that was the question mark tonight, but um, I think it was a very very nice run and uh, yeah Well done to everybody. You can say a brave performance from the rider and the horse. Absolutely Yeah, as I say it was a big question mark whether or not he would get the ground um, And then you know coming through the hundred uh, he looked like he was he was gonna get there So um, so yeah nice ride and uh, and good luck to to Clint as well um, for sending him down here um, and obviously well done to him and an artist for beating him. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. There we have it from the entire studio there, all the winners. We've just seen number 12, Lauren Brichel, much the stronger in the finish, although a tight finish, managed to get the initiative and win well.